Hi, my name's Paul Nolan. Thanks for taking a look at this story. On a misty Monday morning in October, I took a trek out to a town called Alken, south of Hasselt in Belgium. With approximately 11,000 residents and not much in the way of attractions, it was something of a detour. Why? To meet artist Gaston Westenberg. Living alone in a wood in an abandoned house with the authorities threatening to evict him, Gaston's way of life is under threat. For now, he has no intention of changing what many would consider to be eccentric life choices, to say the least. In November 2017, he will be taking part in Ufami's home exhibition. Here's what he had to say. So, yeah, Gaston, I'm recording now. So, that looks nice to get an idea of what your workspace. So, um, you hear that bird? Yes. That this one. Wait. This one. You know which one it is? No. It is the little brown, the king of winter, oh. with his tail up. You don't know it? No. He lives here. No. Uh, no. 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 Neither a sparrow, neither a robin. Pa. He, that is the way he sings in autumn. Right, yeah. And so, so, so what, here we are. Just, can you just tell me a little bit about yourself and where we are? Well, yes, I, uh, I lived 30 years in the woods, in, here in the near. And uh, I lived there from uh, ever since I was a few months old till I was 30 years. And then I went away there and I found this bewildered house. And I let it uh, 33 years exactly the way I found it, the way it is now. Uh, now uh, I live here with microbes, spores, nettles, elders, uh, flies, mosquitoes. And I call that the 1,400,000 billion. That it, we are here in a situation with 1,400,000 billion creatures. And um, you, so you've, you've been living here and you, you've left things the way they are with the, all the microbes and the spores and, and the dust and, and, and the, the cobwebs for all this time. But it seems like you, 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 you need to create, so you need to communicate with the outside world. Yeah, what yeah. What I've been able to understand is that you, you have artwork that you, that you have been, been doing over these last 30 years. Why, why paint? Why draw? It is a way of speaking. Huh? Mm. Uh, sometimes you can express more in one drawing than you can express in a million words. Huh? It is a very direct way of, of speaking. And uh, it uh, delivers uh, curiosities. It it goes far over what only talking can do. I make uh, I make uh, uh, it is it is very difficult to explain, but I make uh, 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 situations uh, n nearly miraculous in on paper. Uh, there, there is a thinker behind my thinker, and that thinker uh, expresses himself on paper, and that thinker needs paper to express himself. When you take for that uh, thinker the paper away, he cannot speak. It is a, a, a like they say, a hidden talent. Yes. The hidden talent cannot speak for himself only by paper or dance or music. Mm, mm. The hidden talent cannot just speak to you like I speak to you now. It needs a medium. And, um, and, and so, so you're writing and you're, you're, you're drawing and you're journaling your life. I mean, what, what, do you, what have you found out? I mean, what, what do you think you discovered in your, in your exploration? The climate change. 
because they themselves work evolutionary also at the climate as spores and microbes and elders they every year they also uh, are in the next state of evolution around uh, climate change and what i do is painting rain and storms and uh, uh, flooding uh, uh, how you say flooding. Flooding. Fl Water fl levels flooding. yeah and uh, in those drawings i do uh, curiosities strange uh, uh, so the 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 hidden talent is speaking through the drawings about the climate change and uh, actually I try to do the ultimate miracle uh, to make a change but of course uh, that is a very difficult thing anyway in every drawing about rain and flooding that I make there is a curiosity and that, that, that is the, 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 the hidden talent that is speaking, but that is very difficult to explain. Uh, that are uh, all, all situations with stripes and, and dots and, 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 and colors and things that... Uh, for example, uh, here lies, for example, two euro and seventy cents. Mm. Lies there, without reason. Then we go outside and there on the street lies two euro seventy cents that somebody lost. Yes. And then we think about this and then we go in the cafe and there is an old man and he comes up to you and he says, can you give me two euro and seventy cents that I need for a drink? And then you have a mathematical curiosity. You, you understand what I mean? It is, it is not our logic. In everyday life we call these things coincidences? Like yeah, it, it, that's not the case. It mm. is handmade. Mm. When it uh, should have been coincidence, it happened outside of me. Yeah. And I want to have been making it mm. with my hands. Mm. So when the two euro and seventy cents are coincidence, then it is a law kind of a law mm. but when we have been involved in it then you can learn from it mm. Mm. yeah it is it is difficult to explain I have made thousands and thousands of those situations like the two euro and 70 cents I mean, that sounds, it sounds like um, I mean so sometimes we, we these type of things happen to us and we say that's that's too much of a coincidence to be true I mean it's yeah. happened to but I do it. I do it yeah. every day. I do it every yeah. year. Yeah. Uh, Dali uh, in Bruges. Dali has a museum, mm. and there hangs a, a, a sentence from Dali, and it it goes like uh, about his work, mm. and he says uh, every day I think I'm going to die for satisfaction. That means that every day he did such a thing that he said to himself, "How can I have done that?" For example, when, when the, the two euro and seventeen cents, you find them five times. There's more, much more. He talks about corrupt Belgian politicians, who he calls deluded, the way they carry on with their big houses and consuming as if there were no tomorrow. In a corner of the room sits an easel. It's where he paints, draws, and journals about his day. His talent is plain to see. So come and see for yourself for the opening on the 30th of November. The Miraculous Art of Gaston Westenberg.